Hi, I'm Minion Valoralco. This is my first uh, gaming playthrough on my gaming channel. And we're going to start off with a little game called Beyond the Beyond. It's on the PS1. Uh, it's a really cute game. I like it. It's an RPG. And me and my friend back in New York uh, used to play this game right before I moved here uh, to Nevada. And, but I never actually got to finish playing the game. So today we're actually going to play through the game and get all the way through and see how it ends. So here we go. At last, you've come. Something terrible is about to happen. I need your help. All right, let's start a new journey here. What is your name? His name is actually Finn. If you uh, just push the end button, his name is Finn, F-I-N-N. But we're going to go ahead and put my name in his place because I'm the one playing. Ooh, just enough characters. Together with Steiner, we will save this world from an upcoming danger. Steiner should be an adequate partner. He will certainly try his best for you. Steiner, take care of Minion. Minion, I'll take you to the village of Isla. There, our adventure begins. <laughs> that wasn't very cute for a small baby dragon, but we'll go with it. <laughs> Darling, so Kevin and Minnie are a little late. Do you think they're all right? Hmm, I'm sure they're fine. They'll probably be home soon. What do you mean by their fan? Every time Sir Kevin visits, takes him in the fields and instructs him in swordplay till he's completely exhausted. How can you call that fine? Oh, Annie, I understand your concern. But you shouldn't take your frustration out on your father. But Sir Kevin's being too hard on him. When he gets hurt again, I'll never forgive him. What was that all about? Huh? Oh, I think she just worries about Minion a lot. Unfortunately, looks like her concern might be justified. Look. Huh? What do you mean? Sir Kevin's. Oh, Minion. Getting late. We are beginning to worry. Hmm? I didn't realize how quickly time flies. Well, I hope Minion is not hurt. Oh, he is quite alright. When he recovers consciousness, he will feel a thing. I don't want to be rude, but... Even though you're his father, don't you think you're being a bit harsh? He's just a kid. Why are you training him like this? It's too cruel. It's your job to defend the kingdom, and this may be hard for you to understand. But for women, we value children more than our own lives. Hmm. Shows how much they know. Being jerks to kids. Minion! How terrible! I must speak with you, Sir Kevins. I have always wanted to tell you. I think your methods are extreme. You allow Minion, who is without a mother, 
to live with us, but when you visit once a month, you nearly torture him to death. Is this your idea of being a good father? I need to calm down. If this ever happens again, Abba, I'll never forgive you. Oh, Annie, I must apologize to Kevin's. She has her mother's spirit. Or perhaps her father's. Ha 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 ha. Crazy laughing for no reason. <laughs> Dad, if Minnie gets hurt like that again, I'm holding you responsible as well. Ooh, told you. Well. Sir Galahad, I think I'll return to the castle. What? You mean you're leaving without saying goodbye to Minion? I care for him, but the longer I stay with him, the harder it is to leave him here. I'm also worried about things at the castle. You're worried about Bandor, right? Yes, we recently found several of their spies roaming around our kingdom. I wouldn't be surprised if they attack us while I am not there, Sir so Galahad. Please take care of Minion. Will you ever change your mind and return to Marion Castle? I'm sorry, but no. Aww. <laughs> Shucks. Aww. Must be the young prince that you don't like, huh? Marion will be fine with you and Samson there. An old soldier like me only wants to live the rest of his days happily. Not me. I want to go out and get treasures. Minion has grown strong. Much more than I expected. Hmm, I know. As a reward, why don't I show him around the castle? Please tell him to go there when he recovers. I will. That's kind of boring. Why not give him a challenge? A challenge? Rude. <laughs> if he succeeds, then he can go to Marion. That's a good idea. Please do that. Secondarily rude. Why is there gotta be a challenge? Why can't I just go? And this is me and my little dragon baby friend Steiner. Kiru! <laughs> nice pulling on my hair. <laughs> Cure. Good morning, minion. Hee <laughs> Good morning, sleepy guy. Dad has something important to tell you. He's waiting a while, so please see him as soon as possible. Your best friend Steiner took care of you all night. You should thank him. Because I did nothing! Hey, he took care of you too. What is she talking about? Minion, Sir Galahad is awaiting. Yeah, there we go. That's a fun voice for him. Now, if you use the R1, you can search without actually having to go into the menu with, say, the triangle. Oh, wait. Nope, that does the same thing. Aha! Okay. Uh, so it is the X button. There we go. You can talk, you can search. You can look at the magic you ha know, but I don't know any. Items. Cloth jerkin. 
two herbs. And then in the prepare tab, shows you your current status. Uh, the VP is vitality points, LP is life points. Uh, your vitality points, I believe, is your actual health. And life points are the amounts that you can recover if you are to die. You get returned back to life at least a couple times, I think, depending on how many you have. I don't remember exactly how many life points it takes to bring you back up to start fighting again. Uh, let's see. Uh, what else is in here? Doesn't know any spells. Got strength, defense, speed, IQ, and luck. Attack, defense, speed. Formation. This lets you put people where you want them to be in battle. Since Midian is a fighter, he can go right into slot number one. Now in settings, as I remember, you can change how fast the speed of the messages are, fast, medium, slow, battle, window, on and off. I forget what that does exactly. Mm, not gonna mess with it. Window. Here is an important thing. Do not ever touch anything in this window because it makes the colors of the actual uh, words all over the screen like minion, VP, LP, MP, mode, color, font, red, green, blue, blah 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 uh, into weird unseeable colors or completely negates them so you it's like a bug you don't want to touch anything here ever so leave it alone all right, so for now, that is all we can do. Now, in this game, there are items that are scattered around under beds, on tables, so you'll see me doing that from time to time, because I forget where the items all are. Ale inside. Let's see, we got just a vase, just a barrel. This one's an empty vase. How about this one? It's a gorgeous vase. Oh, there we go. Free herb. Let's go downstairs. You finally woke up. I have important news. Please sit down. Linden, would you like to see Marion Castle? Sure, why not, Pops? I have a small favor to ask. If you can do it for me, I'll take you to Marion Castle. That sounds amazing! Oh, so he's... There's a cavern called the Cave of Spirits the far east of this village. Sir Galahad removes a flask from the shelf. The... The invisible shelf? That's an amazing shelf. I don't see anything on it. I don't even see the shelf. I think he's crazy. <clears throat> A natural spring in the deepest part of the cave contains magical spirit water. I want you to fill this flask with that water. What do you say? Will you do it? Oh, I just ran over there like, yeah, I'll do it. Minion receives the flask. What about me? Can I go too? No. So, everybody's vibrated a little. Made actual no 
mention as to whether it was okay or not. Annie, please listen. Nini is going somewhere very dangerous, and besides, you are just a girl. Oof. Oh. That's rude. <laughs> I can't let you go. She just gave a little head movement. Oh no, you didn't. Oh, is that right? You think I'm just a weak girl, huh? Fine. I won't ask next time. Oh. <laughs> oh this is why she can't go on adventures. She just fell on her face. <laughs> cur, cur. Well, you want to go too, right? Well, you're not a kid, you're a dragon. Go on and help Minion. I will, sir. I will. I feel sorry for Eddie. But let's hurry up and get the spirit water. And now I have control of myself again. Read the books. The responsibilities of being a good soldier. Field tactics. Cave of Spirits is dangerous, so why don't you take whatever you need from the basement? It's all at your disposal. Okay, sure. Sounds good to me. More free stuff. They're very peculiar, Minion. Sometimes it looks as if you can actually understand what that dragon is saying. Anyhow, don't worry about Annie, and please be careful. Oh, so apparently nobody but Minion and maybe children can understand what the dragon says? Ooh, a short sword. And an antidote. Firewood. More firewood. An herb. Too heavy to open. That sucks. Hmm. Can I have that sword in the middle? I bet it's better than what I picked up. Now this is a storage trunk. You can store items, remove them, however, the only problem with this storage trunk that you will find is that it is nowhere except here, in this village. So I think, if I remember correctly, like most RPG games, there is flying available, but not until sometime a lot later. So, this is very inconvenient after you pass the first area of the game. Because if you want to remove anything that you stored in here, you won't be able to come back and get it unless you go through a lot of uh, toil and heartache <laughs> just to get back here. So, best to just uh, keep all of your items and don't overflow your inventory because you do have a limited inventory space that each character can hold. But there are items in here, so I'm going to take them at the moment. There is no money, I believe. Uh, no weapons. There is a light shield. I will take that. And there are four antidotes and two herbs. I'll take all of this. The only problem I have with this game's system is that you can't take as many as you like. It's all one at a time. Even purchasing in stores. So if you want two, three, four, five herbs, you're going to have to do it one at a time.
Okay. So that's all that's in here. Now we're gonna move on. Explore the town. See some more free stuff, possibly. Oh, yeah. Let's check our items. Oh, they automatically equipped them. The short sword, the light shield. Got herbs, got a flask. Let's see, is there a way to move them? I believe I pressed all the buttons. It's not, hmm. so your herbs are basically where they are. <laughs> all that. So just try to count how many of anything you have at any given time. So I have three, four, five, six herbs and five antidotes. That's pretty good for starting off. So let's head outside. Oh, hold on, minion. What else we got? In the cave spirits, there's a fork in the road with two paths. Take the path to the right, because the left one is very dangerous. Don't forget. At the fork, go to the right. Got it. Go to the right. Thank you. What was it again? Go to the right. Let's see. What do we got here? Don't think I remember there being any items anywhere in the village except for one of the houses. But you have to wait until later to get it. I recently saw some soldiers in Pantor. I wonder what they were doing here. I don't know, little girl. In here, growing up, she shouldn't go too far, or Sir Galahad might get mad. That minion who just passed by, ready to fight? That reminds me of our war with Bandor. We nearly lost that one. Why are you talking about me like I'm not in front of you? I'm the Charlie Merchant. Michael, you will not find better prices in all of Isla. Do you wish to buy any products? Let's see what you got. Got an herb. I got plenty of those. Got plenty of antidotes. I believe if I remember correctly, the cure herb is better than antidote because not only does it cure poison, but it also cures a few other status ailments. However, they are a lot of money per herb, so can't afford any of those. And these are healing herbs. We have regular herbs, which are only 10, and then the healing herb heals you for a lot more than just a, however many points the lower one is, but it also costs a lot of money. 100 per healing herb. Like, that is a big jump. <laughs> Ten times the price. Ten times the price from one to the next on all the items. And there's nothing else, so that's fine.
Many people in town have been victims of the monsters in the Cave of Spirits. When you achieve the Spirit Water, you will have the entire village's respect. Oh. Guess I'm just some dumb kid around here then, huh? Alright. Minion searches the barrel. A little bit of ale. Wow. These people like to get drunk. Two barrels of ale. No water for these people. <laughs> Fairy tales for kids. I want to play with you, but I have something to get care of. Let's play after I'm done, okay? Promise? Minion, Todd was asking to play with you. Well, playtime is not now, little guy. Oh, Minion, I haven't seen any today. Is she helping Sonya or something? Maybe. Or maybe she ran outside, fell on her face, and nobody has any idea. Yeah, I think this is the item that you had to wait till later to get. It's in the vase behind him. But he isn't moving right now until later. You're going to the Cave of Spirits. That place is full of monsters. Well, be very, very careful. Well, thank you. Can I talk to you? Yeah, I talked to you. Oh, Minion, I'm sorry, but I can't open the gate for a minor. Got the express permission of their parent or guardian. Child to child, huh? Some kid telling me what for. <laughs> Minion search the area. The gate is shut tight. Alright. These are saving huts. Well, churches. But you can save here. This is... How can I, servant of Iran, help you today? You can help me by saving my game. Uh, this is where you can also uh, cure people of status ailments. Uh, such as, I believe, curse, uh, poison, anything like that. But you do have to pay him a little bit of money. And uh, the problem with the cure is you'll find later... Um, there's a man that's coming up uh, probably in the next video, uh, not this one, that uh, gets cursed and cure will not work on him because it was a spell rather than an item that has cursed him. Uh, resurrect. Uh, this is one of the only ways to resurrect besides um, going to an inn, I believe. I think if you go to an inn, it will also resurrect your party members. I'm not entirely sure. And then, save the game. Yes. Right over my old one. can't go out the front of the village entrance, so since I've talked to everybody and there ain't nothing in that barrel, go out the bottom. And if I remember correctly, there are no enemies out here to fight just now till we get our first party member, which I believe is Annie in this cave. These fights are, for the entryway, all scripted. Small bat, two small bats, whatever. Uh, you have to fight them. Oh, one thing to know about this game is that during battle, if you continuously press the X button during 
or the action button during things like your attack or the monster's attack. Uh, you can guard or evade or do a counter attack move or do a supercharged attack against them. Doesn't always happen, but basically you'll be pressing X a lot. Because <laughs> if you don't, the monsters will actually kill you pretty quickly. Or uh, vice versa, you won't be doing as much damage as you could to them. Not bad. Huh? I came anyway. Oh, it's Annie. Oh, it's Annie. What kind of greeting is that? Annie, why are you here? You're not thinking about going with us, are you? Why, Steiner? Do you think I would be a nuisance if I came along? Do you feel the same way, Minion? Really? Are you sure? I won't be in the way. I haven't said a thing. <laughs> I just gave her the uh-uh. Sad, sad head movement. Uh-uh. But maybe I shouldn't. I'm just a weak girl. I wouldn't want to hinder your journey. If I get in your way, then you won't be able to do the favor for my father. Ha! I knew that's how you felt, just like every other man. This must be medieval times. <laughs> you think you're so strong that you don't need a woman's hand, huh? Humph, I'm not so easily scorned. A woman's hand? Um... Well, we're not going to be walking hand in hand through the cave. We're going to be fighting. <laughs> I'm the daughter of the kingdom's top knight, and I have been trained to fight. Honey, where are you going? Where I go doesn't concern the two of you. When I get the spirit water, maybe you'll respect me then. We're in trouble, minion. This place is dangerous. We must stop any. Should we? Yeah, scripted fights all throughout here. Supercharged combo. Double. Two of them. Alright. The slime poisons. I don't remember. So kill it. Paying attention to my life at all. There we go.
but that at least shows you how the uh, life points work. So, I got a total of three life points, which gave me three vitality. Now here, what you want to remember is that uh, when you gain a level, the status gains are actually uh, random. If you happen to be a warrior, you might gain more warrior points, like in strength, defense, things like that. And uh, if you're like a caster, you might gain more intelligence. And um, life points, MP. But they're all random, so... And every time will be different. Every time you play the game. So that same first level could actually have been a lot higher, or a lot lower, or less stat increases. Or more. Counter-attack. Okay. Gained back a little of what I lost. That's good. No. Oh. Looked like a secret. Tumble Rabbit is tougher than the slime and the bat. So you'll want to take it out first. There's Annie, we finally caught up with her. Leave me alone. I said leave me alone. Oh, she went down the wrong way. Wait, which way was the dangerous path? It was left, right? No, right, left? Right? <laughs> so we're gonna let her go do whatever she wants for a moment, and we're gonna go down to the right. Because if you go down there first, if I remember, you end up having to come all the way back this way anyway. Because you need what's back here to advance. Ooh, another level. Two strength. And a fireball spell. Awesome. Not that he has much magic right now.
go downstairs. And here is the spring. The stunning spring seems to touch the soul. We're going to use our flask and scoop up some water. Is that it? Is it full? Okay. Now we're going to go back. Oh, nice. Guarded my uh, critical. Try dodging my double. Sucker. Now up here is actually just a pretty view from the mountaintop of the valley below. That's it. Nothing more. And we're gonna go back. Now we're gonna go down the right way, and I believe to the left here is a chest. Yeah, I win! Source of wisdom. Now, um, source of wisdom, I believe, increases. Increases IQ, maybe. So I have a very low IQ, kind of dumb. <laughs> so I guess I'll go ahead and uh, use that on myself, because also I am out of space. Intelligence increases four points. It absolutely does not... T oh, okay. IQ did go up. So does the IQ. Okay. Three to seven. I'm a smart boy. Or at least a little bit smarter. thing I prevailed because once again I was not looking at my health points really need to keep an eye on that
Lily, that's her. Something must have happened. Let's hurry up and find her. Oh, there she is being attacked by an anime thing. Which I'll let you think of things that are going on. <laughs> Annie is in trouble. Minnie, what are we going to do? Ooh. Got knocked out. <laughs> Total mess. Help! I got you. I don't got you. I got you. I don't got you. Mom again. Nope. Steiner, please help me. I'm trying, little girl. Just hang on, Annie. I'll save you. Steiner, I, I can no longer. And she's gone. Nothing more we can do. Minnie, we've got to do something. There must be a way to rescue her. Get in there and splash around. It's a horrible looking swamp. And three other people have come in here to... Uh, Awful fate. But we got the spring water, remember, so we're gonna wanna pour that into the well. Um, swamp. Then you pour some of the spear water into the swamp. He did not like that. Wake up. Wake up, Annie. It's no use. We have to try something else. Minion pours a couple of drops of spirit water into Annie's mouth. She's glowing! Let's freak out and run away. Um, cough? <laughs> uh, <laughs> mm. I'm alive! I, I was, eh? You were totally dead, girl. I know it, you know it. The Kraken dragged me under. I don't even want to think about it. Annie, I'm so relieved. You sound alright. Minion, let's go. We shouldn't stay here too long. I'm scared. I can't walk alone. Take me with you, okay? Annie joins the party. Poured spear water in there. It shouldn't be a horrible swamp anymore. It should be pretty. Well, anyway, um, she has one, two, three herbs, two antidotes, a wooden rod, ribbon, floral dress. All together we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight herbs. So, give her one of mine.
Sorry about that, everyone. I took a long break. I have a uh, disc bulge, among other painful joint pain from time to time. But today, it's been awful. So I had to take a quick break there. Put some uh, pain cream on it, try to ease up the pain so I can continue to play here. And uh, we're almost done with this dungeon anyway, so I'm going to finish this up and then finish off the video. Uh, so anyway, uh, here we have Annie, like I was saying before. Uh, we've split the herbs evenly. She has two antidotes. Uh, let's see, two, three, four, five six seven not even on the antidotes so I'll give her four and I'll take three so so one more antidote to Annie and that should do it Now, another thing you want to remember is that there is now a new one in here called Tactics. Now, you want to change it from Charge to Fight, Reserve, Guard, and Manual. You want to put it on Manual. Otherwise, you'll only be able to uh, use the main character, uh, which is Finn, or Minion in my case. And everyone else will do a um, combination of whatever these are. They'll charge in and they'll use anything big that they have, I believe, with charge. Fight uh, uses only fighting moves. Reserve will, of course, uh, preserve uh, their magic, I believe, but they will still use it. And then guard is just everyone will block. But uh, the problem with any of these is if you want something specific to happen, like have any heal or cure somebody or whatever, like right away, and you don't have it on manual, uh, she'll do whatever she wants. Uh, she may heal you, she may not. And so if you know that the next hit from an enemy is going to be something like, you know, nine points and uh, she lost four on her last round, uh, you should give her a heal or else she's going to croak. So manual it is. Uh, formation. I'm going to go in the front slot, Annie will go right behind me. She will go in the back, because she is, of course, a caster class, otherwise known as paper, in the gaming world. They don't take tax very well. Now here you also have the tactics, now you can change it as well. Uh, from fight to fight. Charge, fight, reserve, guard, manual. We're gonna fight them. And I am going to attack. And magic, she doesn't know anything at the moment. I think she learns one or two as soon as she levels up, though. Pressing my X button, a crazy person. Oof, X headed. Now, if you remember, to gain Annie, we had to use up our flask of the spirit water. So, what we're going to have to do before we leave is get more spirit water. Look at that sweet block. Otherwise, we're going to be returning without completing our mission. 
which is going to go get spirit water. Though notice nobody said a darn thing about there being some evil spirit in the water. Ooh, an ambush. I hate when the enemies bush me. Oh, um, another thing to remember with the opponents is that you, if the opponents are a group, you can't specifically choose one of the enemies in that group. Um, I believe you will go and attack the one with the lowest amount of HP, no matter what you're using. So if you do a regular attack in a group of two, and the one that you happen to hit uh, loses however much life, but then your next attack, you use like a great fireball or whatever, you'll still hit that same weakened enemy in that group because uh, they have the least amount of life and you're trying to kill the enemy, not preserve them. Uh, but that's the problem when it comes to uh, grouped enemies. You can't focus on one particular enemy versus another in the group. So you can only attack the whole group and that's it. Huh, she didn't get nothing. Oh, that's right, that's right. It's not until... I'm spoiling the game for you, I'm sorry folks. But don't worry, it's coming up really soon. We're going to be entering the town in a minute after we get out of here. And you'll find out. Stairs. Now we're going to go back to the right. Now unfortunately, now that you've gone through all the scripted battles on the way here, now the entire cave is just full of random fights. Ooh, I have gone strong enough that I can whack them in one. But not bad. I love free items. I got an herb. Uh, this way. Ah, here's the perfect example of a group. So we've got the small bats that I'll take care of over here. Ooh, look at that. A critical three. She's playing for keeps. Gave him a six, one on the left, right? See? Attacks the one with the lowest health. Even though it probably could have been could have been taken out by Annie. Even though she has like a one attack point to a two or three critical. Some good stat increases there. Not bad, not bad. I think each time you go up a level, 
the stat increases are anywhere from um, one to five points, or maybe three. Oh, I think that's the items. Um, the items you can get can give you a possibility of one point to five points. I like the source of wisdom, uh, the strength pellets, or whatever they are. Uh, those will give you anywhere from one to five. And it's always random. Randomly generated by the AI. Good, good. She's catching up in level. That's good. Don't want to leave her in the dust. Uh, sure. Alright, so we're going to be using our flask again. There. And now we have completed our mission to go into the cave and get some spring water. Spirit water. Yes, one shotting the bats. <clears throat> oh, and she's finally at the three points of total damage. Sadly, that's pretty much going to be her, her everything. Uh, she does get a spell later that can do damage. However, I think it's only one spell. So basically, you got a lot of this happening where she's bashing the enemy for very little damage. Uh, she's, yeah, so she's mainly a healer, gotta remember. And this is one of those old-fashioned RPG games where it's like the healer pretty much that is like their main job. They heal and if they do attack because they're either A, out of magic or have nobody to heal at the moment from any status conditions or damage, uh, they're doing very, very little because their strength is so low. But sources of strength, or whatever they're called, will help to fix that problem. So whenever you get a strength upper, make sure to give it to the casters. Because without the strength ups when it comes to them, especially the healer, She'll be doing almost nothing when she attacks without more strength. And there's nothing worse about a party than a party with uh, one or two people that don't really do damage. Healing is great, but uh, you'd also like to take out the enemy at the same time. We are almost, almost out of the cave. <laughs> Got caught by a rabbit. Silly rabbit, adventuring's for kids. Like literally, I, I don't, did it say what his... Age is level four, healthy swordsman, tech current. No, it doesn't really tell you their age, but I think at some point they might tell you their age, but the guesstimation is like anywhere between 12 and 15. 
I find it strange. I find it so strange that so many video games, especially the RPGs, we need. It's getting dark. We should hurry back home. Okay. I uh, have little kids that are the heroes of the story, and it's like, why are they children? <laughs> and why do they have such fantastic powers of strength and um, magic? <laughs> Shouldn't adults be going out and being the heroes? So so weird. We need and we should return home as soon as possible. Okay. Well, after we talk to people in the town, come up to Marion Castle today to find out why Bander is acting so strangely. People they don't know why either. Um, is that so? You actually went to the Cave of Spirits? You must be trained very well for your age. Or just a really poor... <laughs> Judge of exploration. Oh, let's go to this weird cave that's full of monsters. It sounds like a great idea. My mother is making me help her with the housework. I hate it. I bet you helped your parents with the housework, right? I wish my daughter would help once in a while. Ugh. Child won't do her work around the house, huh? How dare she? She's five, she should be washing dishes and cooking meals and, you know, tanning hides. Leather working. <laughs> uh, he doesn't have anything new, so. Let's bypass him, head into the next house. Did you come here to play? You're not running away from home, are you? Todd said he didn't get to play with anyone today, and he started crying. Sniff. I'm not crying, but it's too late to play now. Can you play with me tomorrow? Mm, I'm gonna still say no. Got other things to do. Like, save the world. Even though I'm not aware of it at the moment. Minion, what happened? You should go home. Sony is worried about you. You two are always together. I envy you guys. Haha, <laughs> hey, you're blushing. What are you doing here at this hour? But, uh, before we go into the house, I am actually going to wrap this up because it has gone a little longer than I would have wanted. Uh, more than an hour. So, I'm going to head into the safe and end it here. For now. Yes, inscribe my journey here. Nope, I don't wish to continue my journey. Thus concludes today's adventure. Take a rest till next time. Well then, good night. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this game as much as I am. And uh, continue to watch. Uh, but for now, keep on gaming, everybody. I'll see you next time on Minion Vela Rauco Gaming. Bye-bye!